Hello, may I speak with whoever is in charge of your youth ministry? That would be me. Oh, so you're the youth minister? I'm the pastor of everyone in the congregation. Right, but I really need to talk with a youth minister. So if you could just get him for me, that would be great. Fine. Hold on. I'm the youth minister. What do you want? Let me start off with a quick question. How many youth do you have in your congregation? We have about 20. Oh, dude, that's lame. You guys must not truly be following the Lord. But have no fear. I am here to help your journey of faith crosswalk. May I interest you in some fly, radical materials that will energize your youth program and transform your kids into vibrant servants of the Most High? Thanks, but we get all our materials from my church body's publishing company. But we have exclusive publishing rights on the new album from Praise Matthews Band. They do Dave Matthews songs but change the words to make them about holy obedience. I quite literally would rather have Texas fire ants lay eggs on my eyeballs than have my youth listen to that. Then we've got a brand new series of videos on maximizing your spirit intake by Christy Funk, leader of Crossroads Faith Community, and small group studies on effective sheep stealing by Jerry Maximus, Bishop of Crosstown Worship Center and a unit on how to share your faith with waitresses by leaving a tract instead of a tip by Duncan Wilde of some other church with a name that uses cross as a pun. I've never heard of any of those people before, but I'll still say no because I'm pretty sure they all deny the article of justification. What does that have to do with anything? I'm not going to give my youth group materials that teach them false doctrine. How about I just send them out and you can evaluate them with our 30-day money-back guarantee? I tell you what. You send them out. And if man's will suddenly stops being so opposed to God that he cannot come to believe in Christ until he is called to faith by the Holy Spirit, and if that call of the Holy Spirit suddenly stops coming only through the proclamation of the Word and the reception of the sacraments, and if the substance of those word and sacraments ceases to be the crucified and risen Jesus Christ, and if the very purpose of worshipping the same Jesus Christ stops being to receive his forgiveness, so if all those things suddenly stop happening in the next five days before I get your package, I just might thumb through it before sealing it back up and sending it back. Excellent. Also, would you like us to help plan your next youth lock-in? The key is to have your youth convince their friends that they won't be real Christians until they get all jacked up on Mountain Dew and make a sugar high, sleep deprivation induced decision for Jesus at 3 in the morning. Please go away forever.